All right, we're back with another Money Origami Originals. But first, a word from our sponsor, the Oracle model. Pretty cool. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You can stack them up. You can build stuff, really, because it stands on any side. But anyway, it's also a great display for your diamond. And it's the same fold as the uh, octahedron diamond. All right. All right, so here's the model for today. It's pretty cool. It's like a little star man because the eye is right there. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to use a little bit of thread, it's not going to work out. You're going to have to have a piece of thread. Tape and glue won't do what we need it to do. Unless you really got some massive glue or something. I don't know. I don't want to glue them. Except for with uh, water-soluble, washable glue stick. Which, uh, then you can get them apart anytime you want. Comes off real easy. So, but just a thread. And then, if you want to use the glue stick, you can make these stay together a little bit better. But you'll have to be tampering with them a little bit. Uh without the glue but just a thread is required it's double-sided looks really cool on that side there's just a little bit right there can't get worked into it unless i make the whole thing smaller so i don't want to do that i want the biggest one we can get that's really nice and there's a lot of people call five pointed stuff snowflakes but it's impossible for a snowflake to have five points so it's not a snowflake you know, it's a little star or pentagram. Unfortunately, well, it's not really a pentagram. The lines aren't all there, so cool. All right, there's also a way to make it into a cannabis leaf. <laughs> Four two zero friendly marijuana leaf, but um, you still need a thread. All right. Oh yeah, a quick preview of the six pointer. Now that one just needs a thread. You don't have to glue anything. So I'm still trying to work out one little detail on that one. All right. So we've got bill number 685. But if you just put a little bit of glue right here on this one, that's mostly all you need. Or you could use a little piece of uh, double-sided tape. Uh, they have it in these little dispensers just for this one spot right here you know be best but uh, you don't have to put that on there you have to have a thread all right I think I made that clear all right so I'm gonna make a big X right here George side up if you want the green part of the bill showing, the green back. We need to make nice precision folds throughout because you don't want a lopsided star. Fold this back at that edge. I don't know, there's a better pattern, but this, you know, this gets it done. I mean, 
I debated which to fold this in before I fold it in half and all kinds of things. And I ruined a whole bunch of them trying to uh, make it work without the thread. So, uh, just this is this is really nice, and I don't think a thread detracts from it too much. So yeah, then we're folding the other side both ways, making another X. All right, so you can crease those in pretty good if you're happy with them. You just don't mess up your point. That's an actual point in the model right there and right there. And right here and right here. Okay, so another mountain fold goes with these two ends. Keep that right on the point. All right. Now, Let's see. All right, let's switch and get some horizontal folds in. So fold in half. And then into quarters. It folds the same direction. Valley folding. So yeah, it's pretty cold here. Uh, it's about 35 or something. That's considered cold where I live. North of Dallas. Northeast. All right, so now fold each raw edge into the center line. Yeah, so uh, I was making a marbled leaf and got the idea for this after messing with it quite a bit. Because the marbled leaf wouldn't stay together. But this is much cooler, and the marigold leaf is what I uh, transposed into the uh, cannabis leaf, which uh, I'll probably show that as a real short video. And put a marker in the uh, video of what time to watch this video up till. It'll be made from this one. All right, so I got mine. I'm going to go ahead and crease those down with my dice. All right, so I'm all creased up. 
open it back up. Reaffirm your center line if you want. Okay, so now this is where it's really tricky. Got to make an airplane fold. <laughs> Just kidding. No, seriously though. Get this exact and that's one of the points right there. So that looks good. I'm going to crease that. Nice point there. All right. Now don't let these slip. And fold these sides back in. So I'm going to press right here. And make sure that that doesn't slip. And I'm going to press right here. And make sure that one doesn't slip. Okay. So far, so good. All right. So that's the model. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Okay, now we've got to make a uh, another X. Actually, it's already right there. But we need it this way. So... It's right where this uh, crease is on the other side. So just feel a little bit and get on the same crease from the big giant X. All right. And now fold it the other way. And like I said, it's right on that crease. Tucked under that fold, I mean. And we're on the original creases. All right. Well, if I had to do it again, I would have made the center fold the other direction. This way. But. It'd be all right. So now, uh, you should be able to have these come together to a nice little tuck in right there. So you can square that up. Make sure they're nice and even inside there. And that they come to a nice point. Okay. So now, right at those two points, we need a mountain fold. So lay it down. And I get all the way over to these uh, corners. Without going past them. All right. And then here we have the other fold that we already made when we made the big X's. This was the one in between the folds. 
So go ahead and valley that one. And then uh, now we need a mountain fold right here. I should have done more folds while it was open. But just line it up. It's all right to do it now. So that mountain fold goes right where this second X goes around the edge. So it goes right there. There's a little crease there. So you can do it with the creases instead if you want. Uh, probably makes a little bit better points. All right. Okay, or we could have done these folds first. That way it would mark this better. Because now we need to make another X right here. On the existing folds we did when we made the giant X's. So fold that over. And just make sure you're on your original X. I shouldn't have too many divorces, right? <laughs> Original X. So it would be better to do these first. And then make that mountain. But it's okay. Okay, so on the X we just affirmed, squish it in just like this one. So you pull those in. Making a nice point. Lining these up right here, nice and flat. So you have your creases in there. And I slid it just a little bit to make sure this comes out straight on both sides. Okay. So there we go. Two X's. So now fold down, write it all this. And make another mountain. Right here we're making a mountain. And I should have turned the whole bill around so that we could have the uh, eagle at the top, I guess. But, oh well, only that part really shows much. You can tell the pyramids there though on the end. Okay. So, and then right here there was that valley fold that we made. When we made the big X.
and then this edge of the paper just just leave it so that's your model you got a point you got a pinch and then you got a little sagging uh, two panels and then you got uh, the same little pinch part right there and a sagging panel see All right. All right. So we got it like this, and uh, turn over. And now, right here in this flat spot with the bump, we're gonna. You can spread it out just a little, not too much. Open this up on both sides. And the creases are already there. So lay it over. You're making it a point. So make sure that's all lined up good. All right, that's good. Now fold it back. Again, check your points. Get them nice and even. See, that one's a little off. I overdid it. All right, so there. Now that can go flat totally. All right. So just leave that pretty much intact. And now come over to this one. Now this part of it, this point part over here is missing. So, uh. You just have to do without. All right, I'm just adjusting my line a little bit to make it match up on these points right here. Just a little bit better. I noticed a little flaw. All right, so now I turn it back over. You got the seam. You're opening it up. And you're just going to align it with this other one. But the creases are there for that side. So you just open it up and lay it down. And now is when you line up this a little bit more if it's not exact. There. Right lining up with that one. And this side. See what I did? I, I pulled this one this way to match it up, and then I pinched them and went like that, pushed away so that they're on the right spot. Okay, now. Flip back over. It's all like this. And fold these points into that line. And make super sharp points. All right, get that creased without damaging your point. All right, so this one, I mean, it's really pretty awesome, right? 
So uh, give it a share. Come on. There's uh, a lot of people would like this. That's what I think. That's why I did it, even though it has thread. And suggested one piece of double-sided tape or some washable glue. Okay, so now fold that one back. And then what we're going to do now is get rid of this extra part. Hmm, I went a tiny bit past when I folded it in half. Check that out. So when you fold this in half, just do it gently and then bring these up to nice points before you finalize that crease. Because we slipped a tiny bit right there. Okay. Excellent. Now just fold this raw edge into that crease. So that's kind of hard. But uh, to do it such short notice. <laughs> but you can do it. And you can use the pen cap. All right, so it's in there. Maybe the other one. See, we're just folding it in. It's like half of a petal fold. And there. Okay, now I don't know if I figured out the best way to deal with this, but just that little extra edge. Fold it over. Lining it up right there. Let me check some. Okay, that's that's good. So, uh, yeah, it'd be cool if we folded it in again, but that's pretty tough. So now, on these bottom two, make that center fold crease. Get these nice and lined up. Now this would be where you stop, right here, if you want to make the star dude, no, I'm just kidding, if you want to make the uh, canvas leaf, so you would stop right here, like this, but we're making the star, so now you need your thread. Probably about a foot long would be good. Just to give you plenty of length. Now I got some green thread. I found in one of those uh, hotel sewing kits. <laughs> I knew they'd come in handy, right? Alright. So, it just it won't look any good without the thread. So Don't think you can skip it. It won't work. So now lay it down. 
in between these two bottom ones and go up through that top one come around to this side now make sure your thread on the bottom is on this side of that point so you want it on this side oops I didn't leave enough there so leave quite a bit on your end because it tends to slip real easy so we went up right here and over there and then we said make sure it's on the inside of this point and come over the top of that one and now you can go down through these two wide ones and then back up through these other two wide ones but now we have to get the thread to the bottom so just pick a spot like up through here again and now it comes out the bottom and now tie this in a knot and make the knot land right on the point on the bottom and pull it tight see how it's binding that's what you want pretty tight there all right and try to hold that and make a square knot because you don't want this coming undone Alright, I got the thing through there. And so, there. Alright. So now I'm going to cut it off real short. And burn it. All right, there we go. You ready for the style? So um, now you just want to open up these other ones. And it's probably better from the back. So make them into this diamond shape. So just pinch where you got the threads. Push that up in because you want to make sure you get a real good point right here so that it's double sided. And then the, the crease comes up to these corners, and you can just push them in, line it up on the point. A lot of times you have to slide it this way a little bit because you want to get it really tight right there on this point too. So you can do this without the thread but and fold this part, but then uh, it's really difficult to tie after that. I and mean, you can't tie it while it's pointed. It won't stay. See how I rolled this one just a tiny bit? It went like that. To get them even. Because they'll, they'll vary a little bit. But this is when you can fix it up. All right, so you can adjust them all at once if you want. So just pop them all up. But make sure you pull that way a little bit. 
to line them up because that's harder to uh, adjust. And these come right up to the top edge of that. And then I'm folding it over. But now don't just do them all on the same side. See, that's one side because that's the original top point. So now get over to this one. I'm just pushing it up into place. Closing it over. Making sure I get a nice point. And if you want to make it easier to tie the thread, you can go around several more times. In fact, if you did a bunch, it would still be good. All right, now we just got to open up this one. See right there, I had to pull it up because it's just falling short a little bit. But if you really folded it well, it should come out pretty darn good. Okay. Pulled that one over. And if you're happy with it being all squared, just like this. Now, what I really recommend is uh, you put some glue right here, glue stick. And you just you put it on this folded edge and this triangle. And then you, or double-sided tape. And then you clamp that together. Okay, so let's see what it looks like without it, though. All right, so you just you start opening these petals, points, star points. So now you just you pull these back down, even though we just put them up. Oh, yeah, don't do the top one. That one's kind of tight. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Make up your mind. You just kind of got to push them over a little bit to uh, get each one to open up. Here's the other one. See, we're just pulling these points over back how they were. And see, it's plenty nice without the uh, glue and double-sided tape. You just need the thread. But if you want it to be super, super cool, and you can just glue all those together. There's a triangle. Right here. Two triangles. And you would just put it right there or a piece of double-sided tape in a triangle right there. be real easy to cut this because that's the width. So, uh, 
I don't think we need to demo that. And then you won't have to keep messing with these as often if you uh, do the glue or double sided tape. So just shape it up till it's how you want. And there we go. The uh, five pointed star. Starfish, double-sided, pretty sweet, huh? All right, so I hope everybody enjoys that one. A lot of work went into it, and I don't think you'll find it anywhere, right? Except right here on Money Origami's original design. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.